In this video, we will take a look at some theoretical results of partial differential equations. We will derive the existence and uniqueness of solutions, as well as stability estimates. To do this, we will take a closer look at the Riesz representation theorem and the lux milgram lemma. First, let us start with an abstract model problem. This is the weak form of a given partial differential equation, PDE. For the definition, we require V to be a Hilbert space with a given norm. Then the abstract model problem reads. Find u and v such that a of u, phi equals l of phi for all test functions phi in the function space v. In this definition, the bilinear form a and the right-hand side functional l depend on the underlying PDE. In the example of the Poisson's problem, we have the h10 as our function space and the following bilinear form and right-hand side function. Next, we assume that our variational formulation of our PDE satisfies three properties. First, the right-hand side function should be bounded. Second, the bilinear form should be continuous. And third, the bilinear form should also be coercive. When applying the lux milgram lemma later in this video, we will need to check whether these assumptions are fulfilled, and then we get the existence of a unique solution to the PDE. For simple variational formulations, we can already get a unique solution by the Riesz representation theorem. This theorem states that for any continuous linear functional L, which acts on the Hilbert space V, there is exactly one u in V such that the scalar product of u and phi equals the value of L at phi for each element phi of the Hilbert space V. Moreover, this operation is an isometry which means that the norm of L and the norm of U are the same. Here we use the notation V star to denote the dual space of V, which is the space of all continuous linear functionals from V into the real numbers. The Riesz representation theorem gives us now a unique solution to the Poisson problem. The bilinear form in Poisson's problem is given by a of u, phi equals the L2 scalar product of gradient u and gradient phi. This bilinear form defines a scalar product and the right-hand side functional L is linear and continuous. Thus, by the Riesz representation theorem, we have a unique solution u and v to the Poisson problem. We can go even one step further. If we have a symmetric bilinear form, which means that a of u, phi is the same as a of phi, u, then the Riesz representation theorem yields the existence and uniqueness of the solution to the variational formulation. Since the Riesz representation theorem cannot be applied to all variational formulations, we need a more general tool which can be used for many linear PDEs, the lux milgram lemma. For this lemma, we need the assumptions that we made at the beginning of the video, namely that the bilinear form is firstly continuous and secondly v-elliptic, thirdly, the right-hand side functional L must be continuous. Then the variational problem has a unique solution u and v, and the stability estimate norm of u 
is smaller or equal than 1 over alpha times the norm of L. Let us now look at an example of how we can apply the Lux Milgram lemma. We again consider the Poisson problem with homogeneous boundary conditions. To check the assumptions of the Lux Milgram lemma, we will need another tool, the Poincare inequality, which you can see on the screen. Now we continue with what we initially wanted to show that the Poisson problem has a unique solution and that we get a stability estimate, which is an upper bound for the H1 norm of our solution U. In the proof, we will now verify all assumptions of the Lux Milgram lemma. To show the continuity of the bilinear form A, we first bring the absolute value into the integral apply the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality and add positive functions to the integrands to arrive at the definition of continuity. Next, we show that the bilinear form is v-elliptic, which means that we want to show the coercivity of A. For this, we divide the integral into two parts and apply the Poincaré inequality to the second integral. By taking the minimum of the factors of these two integrals, we have shown the coercivity of A. Finally, it only remains to show the continuity of the right-hand side functional L, which follows immediately from the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. We have thus verified all the assumptions of the Lux Milgram lemma and get a unique solution U, which satisfies the desired stability estimate through the application of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality. This is the end of our video on the Lux Milgram lemma. Thank you for your attention.